Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about putting a little boom boom in your computer room. Yeah, see that rhymed and I didn't think about that beforehand and now, now I feel like that was kind of cheesy. So just, I'm going to abandon ship on that. Just roll, roll the intro. So today is going to be, it's going to be part of like a little bit of a series I'm doing. We'll see how it goes as to whether I do any more of these or not. But uh, I've had some questions on when I did the video on upgrading my computer room on the different stuff I used. So I think I'm just going to put together a little series of you know short reviews on the different stuff I used when I did the upgrade. That way you guys uh, know my opinion and my feelings on all the stuff. So today we're starting off with the Audio Engine A2 Plus desktop speakers. Let me just start off by saying I love love these things from the way they look to the way they sound I love everything about them. I'm extremely happy with them. But to give you some details, the Audio Engine A2 Plus speakers are powered active desktop speakers. They have a built in DAC. For you guys that don't know, a DAC is a digital to analog converter. So, what that does is that keeps you from having to run this through an external audio device of some nature. You can just run this straight out of your computer via USB and you're going to get some great sound. Now, these speakers are a nice and compact size. The dimensions are 5. 5.5 by 4.3 by 6.3 and weighing in at only about seven pounds. Because of their compact size, I feel like they are a great addition to anybody's computer setup. They're small enough to where they will not get in the way or clutter even a smaller size desk, but they pack a surprising amount of volume for the size speaker they are. The construction is very solid. These things are made of MDF and they have a very high gloss finish and it is very top shelf looking. If white and black isn't your thing, you can also get these speakers in a flat black color or in a red if that matches your setup better. These speakers have a 2.75 inch Kevlar subwoofer and a 3 quarter inch silk dome tweeter. And let me tell you something, these things rock. Really impressed with the sound these things put out. The mids and highs are super crisp and clear, they sound great, and the lows, for the size of the speaker with this thing only having a 2.75 inch sub, the lows are really surprisingly good. Now is it going to be just a bass drop on this? No. That's not what these speakers are meant for. They're small desktop speakers. For the size of the speaker, I think it's extremely impressive what they can do, but due to the limiting factors of how small these speakers are, you have to kind of expect that you're not gonna get a tremendous amount of bass out of these speakers. If you're really a big bass junkie, I like that boom, boom, pow. you got a couple options. You could purchase the Audio Engine S8 subwoofer, which is a powered subwoofer that they sell that goes with these speakers. Or if you have the cheese, you could bump up to the Audio Engine A5 Plus, which is the bigger brother of these speakers. It's a much larger speaker, so you're gonna get a lot better low end out of those speakers. They are quite a bit more money though, and they are a lot bigger speaker, so they're not gonna fit in everybody's desk quite as easily as these little speakers do. Let's talk about the inputs on the back of this thing for a second. It's got a ton of them. So if we turn these speakers around, you'll see that they've given us plenty of options back here. You've got your power cord input. You've got a USB input, which is the way I would recommend hooking these speakers up. But if not, you've also got your standard RCA uh, ins and outs if you, if you prefer to use that method. You've also got your standard speaker wire connections that are brass plated screw type, which are the type that I actually prefer. They've also included a 3.5 millimeter jack in the back. So the way these are set up is you run the USB out of your computer into the back of the main speaker. I say the main speaker because it's the one with your volume control and the majority of the inputs and outputs on it. Then you run one speaker wire from the main unit over to the secondary speaker. And then that connects the two uh, so you have everything hooked up. Now note, Audio Engine does include all the wires you need to hook this up. It comes with a USB cable to run from your computer into the speaker. It comes with a speaker wire to connect the two speakers. It comes with the power cable and everything you need. One small side note, if you have a long desk like I have, or you're gonna put these speakers really far away from each other, I would buy some speaker wire. The speaker wire that it came with was only, I'd say about five or six feet long, something like that. And it wasn't quite long enough for me to be able to run from one end of my desk to the other, because my desk is about 98 inches long and have enough slack in the line to be able to hide that wire under the desk properly. 
These speakers are designed as computer speakers, obviously, because USB, but they sound great. I think these could be set up like as some bookshelf speakers or something like that. You know, it's got the audio, it's got the RCA jacks, so you could use those to hook them up to just about anything. And the sound quality on these things, I would compare to any other high-end speaker out there. The mids and highs on these things are outstanding. So Audio Engine does make some accessories for this thing that, that I would recommend. Like I said, they make that S8 subwoofer, which if you wanted a little more low end, I think that would you know be a great thing to add on to this. They also offer stands, which is the way I have them set up on my desk, and I would highly recommend if you get these speakers, you get those. Uh, they're called the DS1s. They are built to be used with these speakers. The angle of the speaker's up a little bit, so the speakers are pointed at you better, so you're getting a little better sound quality. They also help isolate the speakers a little bit, cut down on vibration, because they are made of like a plastic or a rubber. They're a little pricey for what they are at $30, I mean, for just some little rubber uh, stands, but they look really clean, they do the job, and they look great with the speakers because they were designed to go with them. So, I mean, for 30 bucks, I don't know that you're gonna be able to do a whole lot better. One of the last things I wanted to do is let you guys hear these speakers a little bit. Uh, it'd be kind of weird to have a speaker with you without you listening to it. I don't know how great it's gonna sound. I don't feel like whenever you're trying to capture a recording of speakers like this, it ever does the speakers justice, but I'm still gonna let you hear them. So here is a little bit of a sound test just so you can kind of hear. Uh, like I said, this probably won't do them justice, but we're gonna crank them on anyway. <laughs> All right guys, so that was that. That's how they sound. Really impressed with these speakers. I think if you're looking for some speakers for your setup uh, in your office or your desk, I don't think you can go wrong with these. They sound really good. They're probably in the mid to high range as far as price. I think on Amazon right now, on most of, most sites, they're around 250 bucks-ish. Uh, so I mean, you know, depending on your, your budget, that might be a little expensive, but considering how expensive some of these speakers are, I think it's perfectly reasonable. And for the quality you're getting, I, I think it's well worth the, the 250. As always guys, I will put links down below for all this stuff so you can easily find it. All right guys, that's it for me today. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, please feel free to smash that thumbs up button, share this video if you want to, and consider subscribing if you're not. I appreciate you guys and we'll see you in the next video. It's all about that bass, about that bass, about that you got that boom, boom, boom. You got that boom, boom. I shouldn't dance. It's not a good thing. It's not a good look. It's not a good look.